So just a quick tour of our Peak Fitness Gym and kind of how it's set up for a session, all right? So when you're a client, okay, you come in the door, all right, and you walk in and, you, you know, this is kind of the gym in its entirety. And, and the way it works is our goal is to set up kind of sections of the gym. So it's kind of like a factory in the sense that we want to move clients along as we go. So we're going to start in our warm-up area. And typically for our small group training clients, we're going to start over here. Um, we're, they, we're going to grab a foam roller. We're going to start to roll if clients have, you know, some additional issues that we need to work on. Um, this is our corrective exercise poster, okay, and kind of we have these – we have these various patterns here, single leg stance, toe touch, lunge, uh, you know, we have uh, active straight leg raise. And so if we write, for example, ASLR in their corrective exercise, they come in before class and they do these correctives, okay? That way, you know, they're ideally prepared. Otherwise, you know, we have all the equipment necessary to take clients through a warm up. Okay, so we warm them up, it takes about 15 minutes. We're gonna generally warm up in this area from there. We're going to proceed down to our power racks here. Okay, and the way it works is each of our clients, uh, you know, say we have a group of three uh, or three to six, each of our clients is going to be assigned to a rack. Basically, in the rack, clients are going to have a trap bar or a barbell. Um, they're going to have the, you know, the material that they need. Uh, we have, you know, dumbbells down here as well. Uh, we have barbells here in the corner. You know, we have weights here. So we set we set our clients up. You know, and, and we're performing our main lifts as well as our auxiliary lifts here in this here are these stations. Um, you know, we have our we have our various workouts written down on our boards here. Okay, so we have our functional training, um, we have our foundation training, you know, and what have you. So you can see based upon what the client's doing. You know, that way as the coach, you can read off of these things and you could be like, okay, you're doing uh, this is the section that we're doing functional training, or you know, you're doing foundation training. That way, you know. And we finish up with conditioning. So we go down here. Generally, we're going to do our conditioning either, you know, on our, on our spin bikes here, pushing a sled, or something to do with our turf via, via medicine balls and that sort of thing. We also have power training, which I didn't mention. I should have mentioned that, but once we get done with our warm up, we're gonna to go to immediately to power training and then over to our racks. And so power training would consist of things like uh, medicine ball throws, um, jumps on, on the turf, box jumps, and that's that sort of thing. So basically, as a recap, warm up, power training in this space, strength training, which is gonna be in this area, and then conditioning, which is going to be, you know, right around here. So that way, you know, we can have clients warming up for the next class. Uh, you know, we can have clients down here. You know, we can move clients through uh, pretty quickly and efficiently, you know, and, th and that's our goal is to move as many clients through as possible uh, with good form and good effort.